Hey guys, welcome to another First Impressions. I went to CVS this morning after grabbing coffee and I saw a couple of brand new things on display. One of them is this new mascara from Maybelline. This is the Volume Express Mascara, the Colossal Chaotic Lash. Now, the actual display looks crazy. Anyone else would look at this display and feel the same way and be like, I wonder how that actually like really looks on. So we're gonna give it a go. Um, at the end of my makeup once I have everything else on. But we're gonna start with some new products from CoverGirl. Now, this primer is an Outlast All Day Primer. It is a makeup wear extender. It says, apply a dime size amount to face before applying makeup. It is oil-free. It will keep your makeup looking fresh. I don't really know. It just, it looked like it went with this foundation, so I was like, hey. Let's try both. I also picked up this Stay Luminous Natural Glow Foundation in the shade 842 that is gonna give skin an even coverage and natural glow that lasts all day. This comes in a pump. You guys know that already is a huge bonus for me. I love it when foundations are in a pump. It's just my thing. I like it. Let's just get to business because I'm not wearing makeup and my hair is not even done on top of it and I just whatever. I am actually just taking a little bit of the primer on a foundation brush. This is a new thing that I'm doing. Um, I just want a thin layer of primer. I have found that primer actually works best when you don't just glop it on, like most of us glop it on like in dots and we put it on like foundation, like we're trying to get coverage out of it. But really you just want a tiny amount to glide across the skin and allow it to do its job by hydrating, minimizing pores, whatever the type of primer that you have, mattifying the skin. Um, there's so many different kinds of primers. This one is just an extender, so it's going on like a lotion. My point is you don't need a lot. It's like a lotion consistency. It's not that um, thick kind of benefit professional blurring type of a consistency, but it does have the after feel of a little bit of that, like it has a tiny bit of a velvety feel to it, so I'm sure it does some blurring. As usual in the drugstore, there's normally not testers, so I was kind of like, mm, I don't know, I hope this matches. I have a spray tan on right now, and we'll see. And I'm gonna do like the typical, not typical, but I watch other people do this and I'm like, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Using a beauty blender on one half of my face and then a brush on the other. So we will start with the beauty blender and I'm just gonna take my finger, ooh, it's kind of thick. And I'm going to dot this. Dotting it is kind of blending it in already, but then I'm gonna go in with the beauty blender. And because I like more coverage right here with the Beauty Blender, I usually go in and I will actually just grab some of the product off the back of my hand and just kind of roll it on the areas where I do need that extra coverage. Now I'm gonna take some on my brush off the back of my hand and just kind of use circular motions. So you can see the brush is gonna give you a more sheer application. I like to use circular motions, blend everything, and then kind of go back in and press it. I don't know which side I prefer, and I'm sure on camera you can't really even tell. This is a little more natural. This is a little more heavy on coverage. What is that? I actually prefer the way the brush is applying it. That's That doesn't happen very often but that is what's happening right now. So, um, but to even things out, I am going to grab an extra layer so that I'm not just like heavy on one side and not on the other. I like the way this feels. It feels a lot like the NARS Sheer Glow, which is not an overly glowy foundation. It's just kind of a natural finish. And this one is giving off a very natural finish too. It's not crazy glowy. I mean, there is some luminosity, but it's not super glow, like only for super, super dry skin because I like this finish. 
I will be back with the rest of my makeup on to try out the mascara. So I am back with a full face of makeup except for the key item that we are about to put on, the mascara from Maybelline, the Colossal Chaotic Lash, that could really go one way or another. I wanted to do a look today that would complement a lot of lash and be a little more edgy, so I do have a pretty decent winged liner going on. Um, I used the NYC Drugstore Liner, NYC Liquid Liner, if you were curious. And then on my eyes, I am wearing Makeup Geek. I kept it really clean. I'm kind of in a pink mood right now. I don't really know what's going on, but that's what's up. Um, so everything else is done. I had really good intentions of wanting to do my hair, but I think I'm gonna just not. <laughs> mm. Oh, I was expecting the wand to be like really bent for some reason. Like on the display, it shows the wand is like, like bent at the tip, but this doesn't look that bent to me. Okay, it looks very spiky, very volumizing. It has that kind of um, wiggly thing going on. So three, two, one, let's do this. Let's jump in together. I don't know. So I have one coat on my right eye and we're about to go into the left. Obviously this is giving a big impact. It's a little chunky clumpy, which I'm okay with most of the time, but I'm not so sure how I feel about this just yet. I actually like it on the lower lashes more than the top. That's weird. I don't like it. This is not a natural mascara. It's supposed to be kind of crazy, so I knew that going in, but I have to say, I'm like, my eyes are a little bit irritated right now. I feel like I got pieces of it like in my eyes. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on how it wears, if it flakes, all of that stuff. For those of you that like this type of a look, but I'm just not a fan. I like it on the lower lash line better. I do feel like it gave a little bit of oomph and volume. So maybe I'll reserve it for that. Although the brush is kind of thick, so it is a little bit scary going in and being like, dear God, I hope I don't screw up all of my makeup. The foundation, by the way, I love it. I think it's gorgeous. It feels really comfortable. Um, I'm going to have to set it with powder throughout the day, I'm sure, because I'm already getting a little bit shiny here, even though I set this with powder. So it is definitely a luminous foundation. It's not matte by any means at all. It's not even a natural. It is more luminous, but I like it. I feel like my skin looks good and it's comfortable and that's, uh, that's where we're at. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. It is a gorgeous evening. We are driving to the mall right now. It's like sunset time. So I'm kind of like in the sun, out of the sun, in the shade, in the sun. I don't even know. Um, it is almost seven. It's time for some dinner and then I'm going to go on a hunt to find my ripped up jeans that I love so much from Zara. My makeup's looking good. I'm really, really happy with this foundation. I just, and I'm happy with the mascara aside from the fact that I don't like the chunky lumpy thing. It's wearing really well, so. All right, whatever. Mm. I love it when they give you chocolate at the end of the meal. We're at Nordstrom. We just ate at Nordstrom Cafe. Wait, it's called something different now. Brazil. Brazil. Um, it's so good. It's the same menu. Um, but it's like one of my favorite places to eat. Side note, not important, but now you know. So we are going to go to Zara and try to find Ooh, holy jeans. These jeans. These jeans that I wear way too often. That is a bad angle, honey. These jeans. Try to make me attractive. Don't give me a bad lighting. How's my makeup look? Here, let's do a close up. Maybe we should get out of the way of people. Wait, let me see your eyes. Okay, close your eyes. Are you doing like an extreme close up? Yes. Oh geez, no one needs to see that. Open. Open. What do you think of I the I think clumpy? they look fine. You like it? So yeah. Pretty. 
it's all right. No, I love it. <laughs> so uh, a random stranger approves. Uh, yeah, let's go shop. <laughs> nice. These are the best jeans. I don't even know what they're called. They're just premium denim collection relaxed cigarette medium rice jeans. Oh my gosh, two of the girls in there were like, I just bought those jeans, I love those jeans. And I'm like, I know, I'm getting a backup. So these are my favorite relaxed jeans of all time. outfit of the day this oh my god there's my bra <laughs> outfit of the day without flashing you that's nice what's that it's a shirt james is trying on clothing i'm being supportive um my sweater is from vince this is from william b it's just a, a little tank toppy kind of thing it's a little ooh, risque on the side and then my jeans from zara and my shoes are from Stuart Weitzman, and I love them. What do you think? Do you like this hoodie? Yeah, I do. Or is it too basic? You don't want to be basic? What is going on with my nose, though? Can we please notice? Can we notice my nose? What is that? Why? This is the final check-in. I have been out and about all evening. I stopped over at my mom's on the way back. Um, the only thing that has been touched up since the last time you guys saw me when I blotted my face with these blotting papers is put on a little chapstick from Soap and Glory. Um, everything else, like my eyeshadow, liner, everything has stayed put. Um, this is really off topic of this video, but Makeup Geek is doing a killer job with these foiled eyeshadows. Grandstand has stayed on my lids all day long, no creasing. Um, and so has my NYC liquid eyeliner that is like the cheapest thing of life. Okay, back to the stuff that we are actually talking about as far as the first impression is concerned. The mascara, I don't like. Um, and the reason is because I just personally prefer a volumizing mascara that isn't as clumpy. I'm being redundant. I said this right straight out of the gate, but I just, I'm not a fan of it. Um, and I do notice, like I did like it on the lower lashes, but do we see that it is kind of right here? Like it looks like, wow, it's been a really long night. Like, I don't, where were you? Your makeup is smudged. Um, so it is a little smudgy under here and this is the waterproof version so that's like no good to me. So I don't like the mascara. The primer went on really nice and set up my skin to be nice and hydrated. I like that. I love the way the foundation wore with exception of around the nose. It's breaking up quite <laughs> quite a bit. Um, However, it's pretty good for a drugstore foundation. I really like it. I don't think I like it as much as my LA Girl BB Cream. That one is just magical to me. As far as high-end, the Dior Air Flash or the Long Comb, ooh, I said it right, uh, or my Cover FX Drops, like those are the three favorites right now. And comparing to those, this is not as good, but comparing this to other drugstore foundations that I have tried from CoverGirl, from Physicians Formula, from Maybelline, this one is really nice and there are a lot of good things about it. So it's not bad, but it's not a $50 foundation because it is breaking up quite a bit. Eight hours of decent wear before it started to go really downhill. So um, yeah, there, take that for what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me during my day. I also want to say hi to Daniela who stopped me at Target and was so super sweet. It was like the nicest thing. If you guys see me out and about in public, please um, I'm not scary, I promise. I would love to talk to you if you see me. So uh, that was a highlight of my day. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you're having a good one and I will see you next time. Mwah.